Have you got your cup of tea? Let's have a chat. The other day I was at an event and a lady in her 60s told me that she's always wanted to learn to play the harp but she feels like she's too old to learn now. So I told her it's a lie, you're never too old to learn to play the harp. I learned as an adult and there's so many other people learning as adults too. When I was in my 20s I started to feel this really strong pull to learn to play the harp. I was singing and playing piano and I thought it would be so much better if I could sing and play the harp. So I went to a harp teacher thinking that I would just learn to play a few chords to accompany my singing because I was too old to start with the harp and really take it seriously and get anywhere with it. But my teacher told me, no, you have potential, you need to take this seriously, you're going to learn to play properly and she really pushed me to progress in my harp playing. As I've continued with my harp journey, I've met some really inspiring people along the way who have found it quite funny that I thought I was too old to learn to play the harp because they started when they were much older than me. I was 52 uh -huh. when I started with no previous experience but I do have the life philosophy that it's never too late. So I've been playing now for over 20 years, and but started when I was in my 60s. And it's one of my great joys of living. Always wanted to play an instrument, but never had the opportunity. So to come to the harp, now in my 50s. It was um, very heartwarming. A while ago I got an email from someone who was very concerned that she's missed her opportunity and now she's too old and she's not going to be able to catch up with other people her age and she's 14 years old. So it's really a mindset thing. We often think that we're the ones who are too old and other people are younger and it's okay for them but we have people in our community who are in their 80s without a musical background learning to play the harp for the first time and they're absolutely loving it. So if we think that we should have started learning as young children, what works in a child's favor to make it easier for them to learn? And can't we as adults decide to approach our learning in the same way? So firstly, a child approaches things with this childlike enthusiasm. They don't hold themselves back. They throw themselves into things. And I think we can decide to do that as adults. Another thing is children do have more time available, but we don't need as much time to learn as we think we do. Even if we just spend 10 to 15 minutes a day, we can make real progress. So we just need to decide to set aside that time. Children are more used to learning new things. They are learning new things all the time and they don't expect to already know. Whereas we as adults often think that in order to learn an instrument, we should have a musical background. But I don't know when we expect that musical background to have come from. Children don't approach an instrument with a musical background already inside them. You have to start from zero at some point and it's okay to build your musical background as an adult. Another thing that children have working in their favor is that they have a daily routine that's enforced by their parents. Well, some children have this. <laughs> and so they inherently have commitment to things and it becomes a part of their daily lives. And we don't automatically have that. Sometimes we're a little bit lacking in self-discipline, but if we really care about something, we can choose to make it a part of our daily lives and create a routine for ourselves. Another thing is children tend to trust the process, whereas we as adults often expect instant results. And if we don't get that, we get discouraged and we want to give up. But I think we can allow ourselves to learn gradually and naturally and not judge the results too soon. Now, obviously not every child is the same, but in general, children have a healthier mindset when it comes to starting things. They don't expect themselves to already be good and they're kind of used to learning from the ground up. And if they make a mistake, they're less hard on themselves. Whereas somehow we as adults expect that we've got to be good at something, otherwise it's somehow shameful and it's not even worth trying. But think of how inspiring it will be for other people when you allow yourself to start bad at something. I actually think it's more inspiring than people who learn really easily. I often compare this to when I see runners. Now, I'm not a runner at all. So when I see somebody running past and they just seem like it's so easy, they're having the time of their lives, they're so fit and they're barely breaking a sweat, that is not inspiring to me. I get inspired when I see somebody who's clearly struggling. They're unfit, they're out of breath, they're sweating, it's like, this huge effort and that really makes me inspired in my life in general. I'm like, wow, if they can do that, then I feel like I can try anything. So if we can be vulnerable enough to start something and be bad in the beginning, I think that is really powerful and it's such a strong, brave thing to do. Even if we learn slowly, who cares? More important than the result of how fast you learn or even how well you play is that you actually do it and you don't look back later and regret that you never did that thing you felt 
felt like you were supposed to do. Because if you're feeling a pull to learn to play the harp, I believe there's a reason behind it. There's a place in your life it needs to fill. Maybe it needs to inspire people around you with your journey of discovery. There's people you're meant to bless with the beautiful music. And I think that's really important. Sometimes I imagine what would have happened if I hadn't taken the harp seriously and I'd let that lie of I'm a bit too old to really do this properly hold me back because now I'm teaching other adults to learn to play the harp and it's making a difference in people's lives. It's such a privilege. But there have been times when I wondered how much further I would be if I had started as a child. I remember the one time I was playing at a senior center and someone asked me, how long have you been playing the harp? And I told them and I said, I just wish I had started as a child. Imagine how amazing I'd be by now. And an old lady told me that if I had started learning to play as a child, there would have been times when it would have felt like a chore and maybe I wouldn't have enjoyed it that much. But because I started learning to play as an adult, it's always been a joy for me and I've absolutely loved learning. So maybe there was a reason why I started learning to play at that time when I started and I think it could be the same for you. So if you've dreamed of playing the harp for a long time, why not start now? Don't let regret of not having started sooner stop you from doing the thing that you've been dreaming of doing. Don't let the past steal from the present. Imagine one or two years from now when you can play the harp, however far you've progressed in that time, it's going to feel so satisfying to finally be doing this thing that you've been dreaming of doing. So I think it's time to decide to take on the attitude of a child, don't be so hard on yourself, and just go for it. Now if you want to find out about how much a harp costs and how to go about buying one, you can click over here.